Sugar may taste sweet, but it's not a friend. You know, it's an anti-nutrient. When we eat sugary things, our body uses up things like magnesium and zinc and vitamin C and our B vitamins to metabolize it, to break it down. It's a nutrient robber. It's the first bite. If we don't have the first taste of sugar, then it's still safe. It's when we kind of give in and think, oh, I'll just have a little bit. So if you know that you're in the grips of the sugar monster, be really, really clear with yourself and really strict with yourself and just say, I want to break this thing. I don't want to be a slave to the sugar monster anymore. And the sugar monster, as we know, is very good at lying doggo. And the only way really for many of us to get the sugar monster under control and to be free of it is to not have any sugar at all. That means just having the daily apple, not having any extra fruit and not having sugar at treat meals. Have cheese or something else instead. It's aging, it's dehydrating, it depresses our immune system. There's nothing good to be said for it. Let's make 2024 the year that we really get it under control. So just say, I think that you and I, dear sugar monster, have had it for now. I'm going to get rid of you once and for all but be very careful. You know, on HBD, we're allowed to have 80% or higher cocoa, dark chocolate. Don't have it if you know that the sugar monster might still have you in its grip. And it's, you know, it's all bound up with childhood memories of being given sweets or chocolate as a treat for being good or as a demonstration of love. But we're not children anymore. We can decide how much we care about our health 